I want to say thank you so much for coming out to the Birkenhead uh, Bowling Club. It's great to be spending some time with Dan Bidwa, our candidate out here, who's a strong, passionate advocate for uh, local issues. And uh, um, I think the big news of the day, obviously, is that the OCR rate has gone up another 25 basis points. That is a total kick in the guts for every uh, home-owning Kiwi. Uh, and really, it's a function of a government uh, and the budget that we saw last week, where interest rates and inflation are staying uh, higher for longer. Uh, as a consequence of the economic mismanagement that we've seen from this government. So to say to the New Zealand people, you've got two people to blame for higher interest rates. It's Chris Hipkins and it's Grant Robertson, by virtue of their economic mismanagement, uh, causing interest rates to stay higher for longer. With that, happy to take your questions. Yes. Um, look, how are you? Good, mate. Good. Um, look, what would National do to control inflation right now? Well, our issue over the last 18 months, I've been talking about it since I became the leader, is that you have to have a plan to tackle the underlying causes of inflation. And that means don't pass costs on to businesses that lead to higher prices. Make sure you free up the restrictions in the productive economy, immigration settings. Line by line item on the massive amount of government spending that's going on to get value for money and a quality of spend. Give people tax relief through just indexing tax thresholds and get the Reserve Bank focus on a single mandate, which is get inflation back under 3%. That's what you have to do to tackle it. Otherwise, we're going to end up with band-aid economics like we've seen from this government over the last 18 months. And the longer we see inflation embedded higher, interest rates staying higher, an economy slowing down, risk of unemployment rising, the, the measures and the, and, the, and, the, and the recipe gets harder for people and more pain and suffering results, as you're seeing today. Now, you the Reserve the Bank is... Um, Absolutely. Page one of the Treasury report of the budget said, as a function of this budget, interest rates will stay higher for longer, and that is causing huge amounts of pain and suffering for Kiwis. But economists were already forecasting a 25-point bump before the budget was announced. And wouldn't it be great if we'd had a well-managed budget that we actually didn't even have to have an increase in the OCR like we saw in Australia recently as well? Now, the Reserve Bank has been firm that they still believe that 5.5 is the peak, and they're still saying, as of now, that uh, there should be cuts by the third quarter next year. Do you buy that? Uh, we have seen a rolling set of forecasts for the last 18 months, and so I'm a, a little bit sceptical about the forecasts and the outlook going forward. What I'm just saying to you is I think this is the 12th increase that we've had now just in over 18 months. If you are a New Zealander dealing with a mortgage, again tonight it's incredibly tough. I have sat with people who are in budgeting services trying to work out how they navigate from a 2% to a 6% mortgage increase and find $700 a fortnight. You don't just magic up the money, it actually has to come from somewhere. And that's causing huge pain and suffering. Dan and I were talking on the weekend, he was telling me a story about a, a, a gentleman who's actually taken a job in Australia, a higher paying job, and sending the money back to his wife and his kids to pay his mortgage uh, and his interest bill here in New Zealand. So, you know, half of New Zealand have, are, just, uh, are worried about their money issues each and every day in this country. 430,000 Kiwis are now in debt arrears. 20,000 families actually are behind on their mortgage payments. That's massive. It's huge. And it's causing huge pain and suffering. And it's happening because we've got a government that's spending more, it's taxing more, it's borrowing more. And that economic mismanagement is driving embedding in inflation and driving up interest rates. What a load of rubbish. Uh, that is a load of rubbish uh, expounded by Chris Hipkins, Jacinda Ardern and Grant Robertson. New Zealand has a domestic inflation problem. On all those, I get it, there's an international component for sure, I, I understand that. But blaming everything on Ukraine, blaming everything on oil prices, blaming everything on COVID, actually all of those international factors are a lot less today than they were just 12 months ago. The reason we have a problem in New Zealand is the bit that we can control is domestic inflation. And we've been saying for some time now, Make the adjustments, make the adjustments, make the adjustments, because the longer it goes, the more inflation's embedded, the more interest rates stay high, the more the economy starts to shrink, the more the risk of rising unemployment. That is the pattern of economics. We understand that incredibly well. We, we can avoid that if you start to make adjustments. And the government made none over the course of the last 12 months. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.